Okay, today we are on part two of our holiday stress management segment and today we are talking about people, your family, your friends, and just people out in the general public. How to deal with the stresses of the busyness of the holidays. Hey guys, thanks for joining us at Anderson Lane today. So today is the busiest um, travel day of the season and it is probably filled with tons of people on the roads. That means lots of people at places to eat and stores and everything else. And either you are probably traveling or you have people traveling to you. If you get to stay home for the holiday, then that is awesome, kudos to you. But for everybody else that has to deal with all the people, around and out today this vlog is for you so kind of funny thing if you guys don't know why I'm doing this and recording it on YouTube check out my Instagram um, yes a lot of things have happened in the last couple days like random things um, my son spilled water all over my laptop um, our water heater decided that it was going to spill water everywhere all over our basement and every time that I sat down to get this vlog edited something like that happened so I decided just to shoot this on YouTube and put it out there for you guys uh, I had lots of other clips that I wanted to throw in here but something in the forces around me is either trying to get me not to do this because somebody really needs it or I'm not supposed to shoot it. So if this doesn't end up going up, well, I guess there's nothing else that I can do. Remember, I have the best intentions. But my stress management vlog was starting to make me get a little bit stressed, so I decided to just shoot it this way. Um, anyway, so we all have family that comes in and is around for the holidays. So some of us that really stresses us out whether you're having people come to your house and you're kind of stressed about having people in your space or whether you're going to someone's house and you just want some of your own space or you just have that bad animosity towards some relatives and you know that they're going to be there and that's stressing you out we're going to talk about a few ways to deal with that okay so there's a there's a few things that you can do to be ready for this and dealing with your relatives and friends when you know that you're going to be in close quarters with them for a while. Um, the first way is to plan. So if you know you're traveling or you have people traveling to you, maybe the best thing to do isn't just to stay all together where none of you can get away from each other. Maybe it's a good idea for if you're traveling to decide to book a hotel where you can spend some time and decompress where you're not around everybody and it's just you and your family or just you where you have time to just kind of be with your thoughts. The other thing that you can do is you can just decide that you're going to go visit some friends or say, hey, we've got a few other plans that we're going to do so we're going to be out of here for a little while. We're only going to stay for a little bit and then you can go and have time to decompress. So that's tip number one. The second one is if you know that somebody, they're gonna argue with you anyway because they always do, and you know what those triggers are, you can practice beforehand thinking of ways that you can answer them. Like if you know that your cousin is really upset because your grandma left you something in their will that they really wanted and they bring it up every time that you're there, practice answers or responses to those comments that they're going to make before you go. Or you can just say, hey, I don't want to discuss this right now. Let's enjoy the holiday. We can talk about this at another time. And that's completely okay. Sometimes they won't take that as a hint, but hopefully then everyone else around you will kind of step in and understand that you're trying. And that can de-stress you. Let go of that resentment for the day. If you know that you feel animosity towards someone and you're really upset and frustrated, it they may not even know that you're frustrated. And even if they do, you can both like feel better and let go of that stress by just saying today we're just not going to talk about it there's another day when we can talk about it and we can get into the big nitty-gritty of it all but today we're just going to let it go and that is completely okay it's not just 
letting it go forever, but it's putting it on the side burner and then going back to it at a more appropriate time when you don't have to be stressed about it. Practice mindfulness. Okay, so a lot of the times we don't always realize that other people are stressed too. Know that the holidays are stressful for everyone and take that into consideration with your family and friends. We all act worse with the people that we love because we know that they love us. Um, I know that my kids are much worse when I'm around than they are with other people. And that's okay. It's not all the time, but it's okay because they know that I love them and that it's a safe space for them to be in. And because that is, they can let their emotions out. And sometimes that's just what it is. We don't know what underlying feelings these people are having in their own homes or what troubles they're having and stresses they're having of the holidays. So try to be that positive, uplifting spirit. And that's my other, t my last tip with family is to try and be positive. Um, I think in any situation, if you can try and see the good, then everything else will grow from there. Okay, now let's switch over to just the general public. With the general public, we all know that the holiday season is crazy. I went to Walmart grocery pickup yesterday and usually there are like three people there and every stall except for two were filled. And then, and this was at nine in the morning. And then I went to drive through the parking lot and like it looked like it was 3 p.m. on a Saturday like there was tons of people in the parking lot I'm so glad I didn't have to go into the store but that is also one of the tips that I have for you if you know that going to the store with all those people is gonna stress you out try and do your shopping online or take advantage of your grocery stores um, grocery pickup things most places offer those now you can actually even have your groceries delivered for a small fee it might be worth eight dollars for you to not have to go out and deal with all of those people so think about those things and plan ahead if you know that one day is going to be worse than another day then go on a day and a time when you know you're going to be more relaxed the second tip has to do with like how we feel i kind of mentioned this already with the family thing but Put your feet in someone else's shoes. Okay, so when we go out, we tend to think that, oh my goodness, my stresses and what's going on with me is the biggest, most important thing in the world. And to you, it is. But you don't know that the person right next to you isn't having like crazy hard times as well or that they're super stressed out when most of the time, right now, they actually are. So if someone cuts you off, think, Instead of being like, oh, I can't believe they did that and getting all upset and making yourself feel bad, maybe try and think about, okay, well, maybe they had someone that had an emergency and they really had to get there. Or maybe it was just a mistake and they didn't mean to and they feel really bad. If we take it and see a positive in it, then it will make us feel better. It will make you feel better. And whether that's what really happened with them or not, the stress will be lifted off of you. And that's what we're really trying to get to here is we want to make the holidays an enjoyable time. Um, and even though we know that it is enjoyable, we want to make sure that we're really feeling it most of the time. It's, it's gonna be stressful. There are going to be times of stress during the holidays. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to teach you guys and give you tips on not being stressed. And I keep having all these things happen and I was getting stressed out, so that's why we're doing this this way today. Um, I hope that this really helps someone. You guys, I know that the holidays are a happy time for a lot of people, but I also know that they are a super sad time for a lot of people, and I would love it if we can just try to be aware of that. Um, try to be aware that sometimes people feel really lonely at this time, and it isn't their happiest time of year. And if we can take that into consideration and try to be just a little happier or try to put ourselves in someone else's shoes, I think it will help not only our stresses go away, but it will help other people around. And if we can help just one person during the holiday season, I think it's a way to light the world. Um, it's a way to spread that light, to spread happiness and to spread joy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this helps you guys. If you have other stress management tips for your family and friends or just the general public, please comment down below. Again, 
We love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye.